He is known for his contributions as both a composer and classical pianist. He was a disciple of the renowned composer John Carlo Minaudi. His name is Lee Hoiby. In the world of classical music, one name stands out for his remarkable talent and contribution, Lee Henry Hoiby, an American composer and classical pianist. A protege of the renowned composer John Carlo Minaudi, Hoiby made a name for himself with his exquisite operas and songs. At a time when lyrical compositions were considered old-fashioned, Hoiby fearlessly championed the power of melody and emotional depth. His groundbreaking work includes his notable composition, a setting of Tennessee Williams's Summer and Smoke. This opera premiered at the St. Paul Opera in 1971, captivating audiences with its poignant storytelling and captivating melodies. Hoiby's ability to evoke raw emotion through music was evident in every note, making Summer and Smoke an instant classic. Hoiby's music carries a profound significance within the field of music. His dedication to lyricism and ability to transcend stylistic boundaries earned him a place among the great composers of his time. His compositions serve as a testament to the enduring power of melody and the evocative nature of music in capturing the human experience. Lee Hoiby's legacy as a composer and pianist reminds us of the importance of embracing the beauty of traditional musical forms while pushing artistic boundaries. His unwavering commitment to lyricism and emotional depth has left an indelible mark on the world of classical music, ensuring that his works will continue to inspire and resonate with audiences for generations to come. At the young age of five, Lee Hoiby, a child prodigy, displayed an extraordinary talent for music. Born in Madison, Wisconsin, he quickly developed his skills in playing the piano. As he grew older, Hoiby sought to further his education in music and enrolled at the University of Wisconsin. Under the guidance of notable pianists Gunnar Johansson and Egon Petrie, his abilities flourished. However, it was during his time at Mills College that Hoiby's musical influences truly expanded. He had the privilege of studying under renowned composer Darius Mio, who exposed him to the avant-garde composers of the 20th century. Hoiby's interest in contemporary music grew further when he played with Harry Parch's Dadaist ensembles. This unique experience sparked his curiosity and shaped his own musical style. After completing his studies at Mills College, Hoiby continued his musical journey at the prestigious Curtis Institute of Music. It was here that he had the opportunity to work closely with John Carlo Minaudi, a respected composer. Minaudi introduced Hoiby to the world of opera, and together they collaborated on the Broadway productions of The Consul and The Saint of Bleecker Street. Although Hoiby initially intended to pursue a career as a concert pianist, his passion for composition steadily grew. Tragically, on March 28, 2011, Lee Hoiby passed away at the age of 85 due to metastatic melanoma. Throughout his life, he left an indelible mark on the world of music through his compositions and collaborations. He was survived by his partner and longtime collaborator, Mark Shulgasser, who shared in his passion and dedication to music. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.